How much would you pay to recover a video like this? I guess, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Cover out to work. Or this one. I found out the hard way. Join me now and I'm going to talk about what you do when your external hard drives or computers die and you need to get the data recovered. I am Molly Bartelt. I own Pixology where we've helped clients organize and preserve millions of photos over the past 10 years. Of course, along the way, we've met people who've had dead hard drives and dead computers. This can be really heartbreaking when you know there's important photos and videos on them. Well, I am happy to tell you about a service that we use here at Pixology. It's called Gilware Data Recovery. And they actually helped even me recover some really important family memories. Before we dive in, I want to draw your attention to this document. It is a roadmap to saving all of your family memories, and you can click the link below in the description to download it. Because <laughs> photos on dead drives and computers are just one little piece of all of the memories that we're trying to save, and really wanting to help you get it all in a way that you can Enjoy it today and pass on to future generations. Typically, when we think about external hard drives, we're thinking about the more modern ones. But what's funny is some of these in this size and shape have been around for five years or more. And I would never trust that any of these would work more than a few years. So be aware of that. If you have an older external hard drive, get that one backed up and get rid of the older one. So this is like more modern. They can fail, whether it was dropped or something mechanically happened. Uh, you need to be careful with your external hard drives. But often people have really old <laughs> external hard drives, like from 2015 and earlier. So like here's a iOmega drive. Um, it had different connectors so that's kind of interesting. I've got one here, a G drive. Uh, you might have something like that. And here's another one that's pretty old. Some people have external hard drives that were this big and I think this external hard drive only held about 500 megabytes of uh, data from the early 2000s. So you could have you know, all this old equipment and it may not power on. The other thing that people have that may have died over the years are old laptops, computer hard drives, things like that. So this is a 2007 Mac PowerBook. Sometimes people are just really hesitant to throw their old computers away and it's mostly because they know there's pictures and videos on them. So those are some of the things that you might have that have memories on them that you want Want to recover if at all possible. Oh, and an interesting side note, sometimes when you have these really old drives, you plug them in and they work, but they have weird data on them. So for instance, uh, this drive had a bunch of folders that were dot sparse bundles. Well, I didn't know what that was. And opening them, it just didn't look like your normal typical file folder structure. So we definitely sent that off to Gilware to unpack the sparse bundles. And what it was, was old Macs had a backup feature and it backed up to sparse bundles. So you're probably sitting there with your dead external hard drive or dead computer and you're wondering, how much is this gonna cost? Well, there is no way you're gonna get a quote over the phone. You will have to send your drive in to the data recovery company so that they can assess it and see what the situation is because there's so many variables. We've seen here, you know, the cost for recovery can be anywhere from 500 
and that's rare when it's that low, all the way up to $3,000. I had my family videos backed up on two external hard drives and a RAID backup device here at Pixology. In 2019, I realized that my family videos were not on my computer. I mean, that's where I would normally keep them and then have them backed up all over the place. They weren't on my computer, and so I went to the first external hard drive and it was dead. Sent that one off to Gilware and they evaluated it for free to no avail. It was dead. There was nothing they could do. The second <laughs> external hard drive did not have my videos. It was a backup of my current computer, which also didn't have my videos. So that was a no-go. So we have to go to the RAID backup device, which was put out of service back in 2017. We knew it was having issues, got all of our client work off of it, and we left our personal stuff there, and it was dead. So I had to send that to Gilware, and the estimate was $2,500. Holy smokes! Um, but of course, like I would, there were videos that I would pay that and more. Fortunately, Gilware offered a payment plan, so I took a few months to, to pay it off. When the videos arrived back, there were more videos in there that I even remember. If you're ready to get help, you can search online for data recovery companies and see what comes up. We think Gilware is just the best solution because we've been using them for five years and their system is so simple. You just click on their website, start a recovery case, and then they send you a shipping label. You get your device packed tightly and you send it off to Gilware, which is in Madison, Wisconsin. Once they receive it, it's really fast. Like they, within a few days, you're gonna get a firm quote. They even can tell what type of data you have. So in my instance, with the videos on that RAID device, I asked them, do you see videos in a folder that says Molly's personal files? And they told me yes. So I could feel more confident about paying $2,500 dollars for the recovery process. I truly enjoy working with Gilware. Even when you have, you know, a awful situation, their customer service team makes it better and they do their best to give you all of the information you need to feel good about moving forward with paying for the data recovery. If you want to know more about Gilware, I have this flyer that you can download. There's a lot of good information in there and it includes a $25 uh, credit to use towards purchasing that data recovery. Now, once you have purchased the services, you've paid for it online, Gilware works pretty quickly. They get all of your data, your, your movies and your videos and your photos and files over to a USB or external hard drive and they ship it right back to you. The process goes really fast. Now these memories that you're recovering are just a part of your overall photo collection. We call it a photo estate here at Pixology. And if you wanna know more about creating a photo estate that you can pass on to future generations, watch that video next. Thank you so much for joining and we'll see you the next time.